a mother who has been told her unborn baby girl will not survive at birth is carrying her to full term so she can donate heart tissue to help others. Haley Martin was told at her 20-week scan that her child has a rare genetic disorder meaning she will die during labor or within minutes of being born. Speaking on ITV's This Morning Show, Mrs. Martin, 30, said they would be able to donate her daughter's heart valves. Explaining her decision, she added, I wouldn't have it any other way. More stories from across East Yorkshire and Northern Lincolnshire. Already a mother of three, Mrs. Martin and her husband Scott, from Hull, discovered their baby had bilateral renal agenesis at the five-month scan. The condition is fatal and means the baby has no kidneys and is not surrounded by enough amniotic fluid, causing malformed lungs. After speaking to specialist doctors, the couple were given the weekend to consider terminating the pregnancy but Mrs. Martin told this morning her reaction was automatically, I don't want to let her go just yet. The couple said they had taken the decision to give birth to their daughter, who they have already named of a joy, to help others in need of a transplant. It is likely that their babas heart valves will be used to help other seriously ill children. With the heart valves they can store them up to 10 years, Mrs. Martin told the show. Anything is better than nothing. I know she can't donate proper organs but tissue is just as valuable. Angie Scales a NHS organ donation and transplantation nurse, said around 10 to 15 families a year ask about the possibility of donation in relation to their unborn child. She said, however, proceeding to actual donation in these cases is extremely rare due to the complexities of the processes that are required. Three people a day, including children, die waiting for a transplant, she added. The couple said the support they had received through a specialist charity in Leeds had helped them bond with their unborn daughter. The charity funded a blood test to enable them to find out the sex of the baby so they were able to give her a name and buy clothes to dress her once she is born. The Martins said they were starting a charity project in Uva Joy's memory to help other families who decided to carry to term, despite a fatal diagnosis. It was not an easy decision but it was the right decision and it has helped me cope with the heartbreak, said Mrs. Martin. A part of her will live on, she won't be completely gone. She will be alive in somebody else.